Hi everyone, it's Mina. Hi, it's Kate from Mum Space. Um, we had to do this short video as we're really missing you all. Um, we want you to know that we've, we've been thinking about you all since this new lockdown started. We're very aware that lockdown is a really difficult time for parents, us included. And so we're just going to share with you now six ways that you can support your own well-being as a parent. As another lockdown starts, we want you to know you're not alone. It's really normal to feel anxious and worried about things that you feel you can't control. Uh, for me, I hate it when things that I've planned to do with my children don't happen. But I take a deep breath and I say, you know what, it's okay. I can do the activity another day. Connecting with others by phone, social media or with letters or even just a smile to your neighbours in the morning to say hello can make a real difference to you and your well-being. When I walk to school in the mornings, I love saying hi, morning, how are you to people? It makes me feel so good and I can see the smile on their face. I've received postcards and letters from a couple of friends in lockdown and I've tried to write back to them because it made me feel so good to hear from them. Don't be afraid to pick up your phone, to text or to call people when you feel isolated, alone, or you're feeling like you're not coping well. You'll feel better, and probably so will they. We are always busy running around our children, but when was the last time you did something for yourself? I can hear you thinking, treat yourself to the things that make you smile and make you feel good, um, like reading a book, a nice hot cup of tea before it gets cold, or exercising. Quick exercise in the house. I love walking through the park because it's free. It's seeing all the different people. What are they doing? Where are they going? The birds and the sky, that makes me smile. Remember, you've got to look after yourself and recognize you are doing your best and that is good enough. Take a break from watching and listening and reading the news. At the moment, there's so much the news about COVID and so many other challenges in the world. It can overload our mental health. Check what you're watching, that is reliable, good information. The NHS is great for up-to-date information about COVID. And be aware of how much the news is on in the background with your kids. I'm just trying to watch the news just once a day at the moment, because that's enough and it keeps me up to date. Being active is a great way to relieve your stresses, your anxieties, and it can help you sleep better. Uh, you're still allowed to go out with your baby or toddler to the park for exercise every day. Uh, you can meet one other person with their baby or toddler as well. And you can still take your children to the playground as long as you're socially distanced. Uh, for me tomorrow, I'll be meeting my friend for a walk in the park because I haven't seen her since March. Uh, we've, be, uh, we've both been very busy with our families and I feel it would be my little treat. Exercise and happiness, nothing like it. Help is available if you're not okay. Things are really tough at the moment and have been for several months, but there is hope and you are not alone. I really hope that you're not afraid to ask for help if you need it. There are some helplines that you can ring, some websites you can check out, and also always remember you can always contact your GP if you're really struggling. On the next page, there's lots of links to websites in Southwark and in London, where you can access support for yourself around your own well-being and mental health. It's really okay to reach out if you need that support.